My name is Jason Strait, and you guys are here for a leveraging cloud for the modern SQL developer. Just a little background on myself. I've been working with SQL Server for about 17-ish years, been doing things on it for a while, and been playing around with Azure here for a couple of years. It's actually my primary development environment uh, just because of the flexibility of what I can put up into the cloud and how I can build and destroy machines at, at a whim. Um, we're not going to talk too much about uh, actual uh, virtual machines though today. We're going to talk more about SQL Database, which I do actually have a few of those that, I've, that I use on a daily and weekly basis. Um, towards the end here, I will uh, answer any questions that we generate throughout the session today. But if, if we don't have time, or if you do have another question that comes to, up to you after the fact, uh, please feel free to email me, and I'll do my best to answer that as soon as possible. Um, I don't have any specific resources, though, at the end I can put up, but I can direct you to uh, Pragmatic Works' uh, Cloud Solutions uh, uh, offerings if you want to find out more about what we can offer as uh, Pragmatic Works. That's enough, of, though, of not talking about our solution today. Let's talk about the old days of developing SQL Server databases. In the old days, back in the SQL 7 days and the SQL 2000 days, it was like a great, great time for developing databases because what we would basically do, we could sit on the porch, we could drink some lemonade, and we could just make it happen. And the reason why we would make it happen is that we weren't really doing it the right way. We were doing it really poorly. What we were generally doing is going out to production whenever we wanted to do, make a change, just making that change. And the reason that we did that is we just didn't have the right types of environments in place so that we could do this stuff cleanly and be able to get out of there alive without having um, too much overhead and putting this all together. And the tool set that we had there back with uh, Query Analyzer and uh, the Enterprise Manager, those just didn't help us with a development process. They're great for administrating the tool, but when we had to create and go out and build that great new car for our environment, we, we didn't have a, a great tool set for doing that and as time's gotten as time's gone on we've had to build bigger and better and faster cars and that's had us ask about the idea of you know what is our tool set and how exactly are we going to push this is my obligatory cloud picture um, how are we going to push this all together and develop out the solutions that we need and that's what we're kind of here to talk about today we're going to talk about the modern SQL developer and we're going to talk about SQL Server uh, data tools, and then we're going to also talk about SQL databases. So as, as we're going through all of this, I want to talk about why we would even consider SQL database. You know, what is it, and, and why would we want to do that? Then we're going to talk about designing databases, what you can do with data tools to build up a database and uh, put things together talk around and doing some demonstrations on deploying databases and your options there and to show you that really that that horrible time that we had in the past of deploying databases and being kind of forced into making changes to uh, the, the uh, production database or generating change scripts that just didn't work is kind of behind us. Uh, then we'll talk a little bit about cloud performance and some of the new options that you can use for scalability with your SQL databases and then your scaling options with SQL database and how your abilities to scale up and scale out, and how that's really the way that data platforms need to be moving. It's, it's, it's really the way that gives us assurances that SQL Server and our applications, most specifically, are going to perform how we want them to perform. Now, with, with SQL databases, you know, why would we want to do a SQL database? Well, before we get into that, let's first talk about what a modern data platform looks like. In our modern data, data platform, uh, and, and this is what we've been using for years and years and years, we've got our server that sits maybe in another data center, or maybe it sits in our own data center. And from there, we're pushing data in through some devices, through other databases, through our applications, through data files. All this data is coming in. And it's then going back out to other maybe mobile applications, uh, your, to your Excel users, you know, maybe it's some websites or on-premise applications, reports, or, or again, maybe other databases. But we have here in our modern platform 
kind of a single point of failure. That that single point of we've got one option. Sure, we can we can do anything from do, deploying SQL Server in standard edition up, up to enterprise edition. You know, we can go and get two procs, or we can go and get 160 procs. You know, we have a lot of flexibility there, but we're still stuck with having to do everything for that server, having to do all the maintenance, having to rely on other groups for putting together how the application will, well not the application, but the database will be able to come together and we don't have many other options in that, in that, in that landscape besides how we architect our specific databases and what kind of hardware we put it on. And, and that opens up an opportunity where we can look at something a little bit different, where we can go out and instead of having to take on the entire task of putting data into a SQL database or a SQL Server database. We can bring in a cloud-based solution, something where we don't have to do all of the work for ourselves. And when I've talked to customers, this has really been a bottleneck, this, this, this idea of, well, in, before I can even start on this project, I have to go and get a server requisitioned, or I have to make sure that there's room on my development server or I have to make sure that I have the entire budget to pay for the entire thing today and get all of the approvals before I can even move forward. And, and that's great for, whoops, that's great for the old world, uh, but the new world is we don't have the kind of budgets and, and the, the buckets of cash laying around that we kind of had back in the 90s when anybody could get anything and having profits was, well, that was nice, but it wasn't really necessary. You know, and, and things change, changed and things came back back into alignment and you know typically we don't want to pay for everything before we get the services usually or at least the way that I like to pay for things is I like to pay for them as I know that I'm getting what I want and I don't want to overpay for things you know when I go and, and uh, rent my cars I don't pay for that full get, uh, tank of gas if I'm not going to use that full tank of gas and so cloud gives us some of that flexibility and with SQL database which is Microsoft's platform as a service relational database in the cloud, you have that ability to build your databases on a consumption-based model. 